Hey, what's up? This is Charlie, and along with my wife, Carrie, my daughter, Isabella, my son, Scout, a pug named Sugar, and a chicken named Oli, we're about to embark on a 48-state, 52-week adventure traveling on our fifth wheel across this great United States. Welcome to our Epoch 48. So it's June 18th, 2018, it's go time. And here we sit waiting for the FedEx man to bring our bike rack for our fifth wheel. We can't wait to get on the road, we're excited. We got a two hour journey ahead of us. We're heading up from uh, Castle Rock, Colorado to Cheyenne, Wyoming. We're gonna be staying in a KOA campground tonight. And then we're gonna be heading on to the Flaming Gorge in Wyoming for the next week. We're so excited to get this journey started. We hope you join us. It's uh, June 22nd, about 4 p.m. I'm sitting here on the shores of Flaming Gorge on the border of Wyoming and Utah. For those of you who don't know, we began our journey on Monday, June 18th, around 6.30. We took the truck, jumped in, grabbed Gypsy, and headed up I-25 to Cheyenne, Wyoming, where we stayed the night. Um, so far, it's been a great week. We left on Monday night later than we had expected because we were waiting for a package from FedEx. Um, also, it was just a, an emotional weekend, an emotional day, having to say goodbye to our families. And <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, sorry, I'll try. And say goodbye uh, to my my flock of chickens at home, <laughs> which I know is silly to a lot of people. Um, that was really hard. Um, yeah, I've been a mom to them for two years, and so it was really hard to say goodbye to them. Um, thankfully, somebody is staying at our home and will be caring for them for the year. Um, there was just a lot of preparation in getting it to a place where they could um, be there without a lot of hands-on care um, the way I typically do it. So, um, But one of the good things is uh, a week before we left, we made the decision that we would bring this one. This is our sweet Oli. And we made the decision to bring her just because she was having some problems and she wouldn't have survived very long at the coop with us being gone. So um, we got to bring her, but it was, so it was an emotional day. We finally left. We got to Cheyenne that night and just stayed the night, went to the Capitol in the morning, had breakfast, and then we headed out. Um, and made our way over to the Flaming Gorge. It's about a five hour drive. Uh, it was long. We were fighting the Wyoming wind the whole time. Uh, but when we got here to the Lucerne campground, uh, we were super excited. Here to Lucerne Campground in Flaming Gorge, Wyoming slash Utah. And it's been a really good week. The weather has been awesome. It's beautiful. The RV park is very spacious. So far we've stayed at three, di four different RV parks and they've all been wonderful. So um, kind of wonder when the bad ones are gonna show up, but this has been a really nice one. So we're gonna take a little tour of the Lucerne Campground. That's campground for those who can't understand Lucerne. The restrooms here at the facility were really great. We were actually really surprised at how clean they were. Not only do they have restrooms, they also have showers with really, really warm water and jet fire shower heads. It's a pretty sweet boat. Which is easy enough. Over here you got a big bird. He's in his nest. What kind of bird is it? Off spray. I don't know if you can see that or not. He's pretty sweet.
We arrived here on Tuesday, which would have been, I don't know, maybe the 19th. Really, just in time to get things set up. We have a bunch of stuff in the fifth wheel that had been kind of just put in there because of the, the amount of time we had to pack. So we have been putting stuff away slowly. I'm still, I think I'm in a nesting stage still where I'm just trying to figure out how to get everything um, set up in the RV for a year. Um, so it's, we're just, everything's just not piled on top of each other and crammed into places. So I've had to be creative and use a little bit of ingenuity. Um, on Wednesday, we decided to get our fishing licenses and we took the kids fishing here, right here on this shore. We threw out our line for a long time and really caught nothing. Really didn't get any bites. Really just watched the water and sat in the sun and got sunburned. On Thursday, we decided to head to a different fishing spot. We went to a place called Sheep's Bottom or something like that. Um, but it was a really amazing spot right off the Flaming Gorge, just a little fork off. Then uh, we realized kind of early on that we did not have the tackle box. We did not have any worms. We didn't have any marshmallows. So we really didn't have anything to fish with. So we went back to town, got the stuff we needed, headed back out. After I caught the first fish, we decided to uh, get our lines snagged and pretty much all of us broke our lines, lost our weights. So the only thing we do was fish with bobbers. So we threw a worm out with a bobber and Bella caught her first fish of the year. A little while later, we caught a really small guy. We didn't even know he's on the line. He ended up swallowing the hook, which is pretty sad. But now we have fish for dinner. Uh, went fishing, caught quite a few fish, which was fun. And just trying to learn how to not be in a day-to-day -day routine that I've been in for the past 17 years of my life. <laughs> so it's, it's a little different, but it will be good. And today's Friday. It's been pretty a lazy day. We've just been hanging around. We've ridden our bikes a little bit, took a walk. Uh, we're about to go out around 6.30 to go fishing back in Sheep's Goat Fur Bay, whatever it's called, uh, in hopes that we catch a few more fish tonight. Yeah, and the RV, you know? The RV is... The RV... The RV has been really great. We've had some issues. Uh, we've never really used it before, and now that we're using it, we're seeing some things. Uh, the propane tank, the second tank, has been leaking a little bit, and kids smell it, so you'd shut it off. Uh, went around and looked at it today, and uh, two of the fittings were super loose, so we tightened those guys up, and I think we got the propane working well. And we've never had to, we're, we're dry camping here in Lucerne Valley Campground, and we've really never had to use the water pump before, so we filled up our uh, fresh water tank, and it runs off a pump but the pump leaks. So we've been looking at trying to figure out where the pump is leaking from. Um, but I think we got that taken care of and off we go. So it's day seven, Sunday, June 24th. And uh, this is our last day here in Flaming Gorge. It's kind of bittersweet. Had a really great time, had really great weather. Um, although yesterday after we filmed we had a cyclone come through. Uh, it seems like we had winds. I think the gusts were up to 50 miles an hour, rocking the, the RV a little bit. Today's our last night here at um, Flaming Gorge, and it was a really good week. Probably couldn't have asked for better weather, um, except for yesterday. It was like hurricane winds that came through. It was a little crazy for a little bit, but um, we've had wonderful weather this week. It turned out really well. Um, Oli did awesome, sugar did awesome. Um, it was a busy day today. We went and saw the Royal, the Royal Gorge, the Flaming Gorge Dam, and that was fun. And we went to church. We did our first laundry day at a laundromat. Uh, I fought the water pump, and the water pump won. Uh, I put a entire thing of water ceiling putty all over the front cab of that thing, and it kept finding ways to squirt out. So we gave up on the water pump. We're just gonna have to buy a new one. Unfortunately, uh, we're not gonna need it that much. But overall, I think for our first week on the road for a year, it turned out really well, and things went smoothly. There was a few hiccups, but um, that happens in a home. 
um, doesn't just happen when you're on the road. So Daddy gets to do his handiwork and I get to clean and wash dishes and do laundry and um, so that kind of stuff doesn't change, but it was a good week. We leave tomorrow morning and head west to our next state. Um, again, we're taking off uh, to first thing tomorrow morning. We've got an eight hour drive uh, to our next stop. It's been a great place. The weekend, you know, got a little crowded, uh, but the weekdays were great. And, uh, you know, couldn't ask for a better place to, to start things off. But my favorite part has just been the sunshine and the warm and getting to be outside because that's just what I like to do. So I like being outside and I like the heat and I like being in the sun and just um, those, that's something to me that's my favorite part because we could be somewhere wonderful and it's freezing and sometimes the freezing just takes over the good parts. So the highlight for me this whole trip was probably, first of all, getting out. Uh, probably really thought this would never happen. A little bit emotional leaving. I think I was more emotional that it actually finally is happening versus you know having to leave. But um, you know that's probably been the highlight. Um, I miss I miss my family. I miss our parents. Um, talking to them a lot through text and Facebook messages. Um, I miss my my chickens, but I have video cameras set up, so I'm I'm able to watch them. And having her with me helps ease that pain a little bit. Thanks for tuning in. We love all you guys. See you soon.